Hey guys, it's Michelle again. Um, I just wanted to make this video really quick. Um, I just want to um, send out some prayers and some well wishes for some people within our crafty community that are having some things that they need prayer about. Um, I have made a whole little list here just so I don't forget anybody. So I make sure to get <laughs> everybody um, prayed over and, and whatnot. Um, the first, um, the first person I'd like to ask for prayers, well wishes, good thoughts, um, pixie dust, magic wand waving, whatever you do, whatever you believe in, if you'll just lift this person up and, um, pray for them. Um, uh, Miss Belinda Barton is having a, a big surgery tomorrow. Um, so just prayers that the surgery goes really well, that everything is done smoothly. Yes, because of the virus and everything, she does have to go in by herself. It is very scary. I just did it two months ago. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. However, it's recommended by the doctors that this is how we have to do it now. So unfortunately, um, it's, it's gonna be scary. It's gonna be nerve wracking. Um, because being by yourself before you're about to have something big happen is is scary so let's just keep her lifted up in prayer uh, the other person that I'd like to pray for because she is having a procedure as well and that would be Kelly Stone and she is known as Southern Scrapbooking and Crafts um, so Miss Kelly is having a heart cath done tomorrow um, they just want to make sure that she doesn't need another stent in her heart. And so um, she's hoping and praying that she doesn't have to stay overnight. Um, but if they do end up needing to put in a stent, then that is something that they um, will have her stay overnight for. So if you could just lift her up. Um, also Carrie, um, Scary Carrie, as she's known here on YouTube. Um, she just had a surgery yesterday. Um, she kind of went under the radar and had surgery and nobody really knew about it until the last minute. Um, surgery did, she went through surgery and everything came out okay. So we're just going to pray for a, uh, as smooth recovery as possible. Um, also P, uh, shout out to my girl P, uh, from Wh Whimsical Endeavors. Uh, P had a surgery last week, um, on her back. And we just need to pray for patience. Um, it was a back surgery. Um, and I believe it was the same surgery that Carrie had as well. So we'll need to pray over Carrie for this too. Um, that they are able to rest as much as possible so that the surgery and the healing can take place so that they're able to have less pain in the future. Um, I know how hard it is that when your mind is going a thousand miles a minute and you're like, I need to do this and this and this and this, and your body needs to rest. So let's just pray that they are able to calm their minds and rest and that they are able to reach out for help if they need it. And if there is something that needs to be done, that they are able to modify it in a way to make it okay given their surgery. Um, the next person I wanna lift up in prayer is Bertha, Blessed Bertha Wilson. Um, just wanna pray for her and her family. Um, she's had a great deal of loss during this um, last couple of months. And so just some healing for her and her heart and her family's heart. And same thing for Lizzie too. Um, Lizzie has had a lot of loss over the last couple of months and just had a really rough time so if we could just um, lift her and her family up in prayer as well and then the last person that I have right now is going to be Miss Alicia from Alicia's Crafty Hop Lap um, her husband has to have a surgery on his ankle he is overseas she is not able to make it and even if she was able to make it over there, 
she may not be allowed in the country because she's from New York. So we are all telling her within the community to stay put. Everything will be okay. Um, yes, it is scary and it is hard to go through a surgery alone. It's hard, but you're not alone. Your husband's not alone. It'll be okay. So you're going to stay put so that you can stay healthy. Um, so just praying over all of these people, if you would just lift them up for me, that would be great. Um, if you have any prayer requests or anything that you want me to add into another video, I would like to do these videos maybe a couple of times a week just to catch everybody else up on things. Um, oh, I actually forgot. We are going to lift up Miss Susan Tootsie Tucker to please. Um, somehow she has hurt her shoulder and it happens to be her die cutting shoulder out of, you know, I mean, it's important to have a die cutting shoulder and hers is like gimpy right now. So we just need to pray for patience for her and maybe some energy for her husband because he said he would do all the die cutting for her, but I don't think he realizes what he got himself into with that one. But um, we'll be praying for her for some healing with that um, and that she is able to rest it and to not get overzealous and want to do like thousands and thousands of die cuts within the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for joining me for lifting these people up and um, giving them some positive vibes, some prayers, some support. I appreciate it. Um, for myself, I am doing okay. I'm on a second round of antibiotics. I lied, it's not antibiotics. I'm on a second round of steroids. Um, the inflammation has gone down considerably and actually I've, for whatever reason, I've had some major hair growth recently. So, you know, you can't even tell that I had a surgery two months ago because my hair is covering it. So that's how quickly my hair grows, peeps. That's how quickly my hair grows. Um, but I'm doing okay, I just am having the weather is kind of weird right now. Um, we were sunny for a little bit, and now it's really windy and gloomy and rainy and the. So um, as that barometric pressure is changing, things are changing. Um, as I was weaning off of the first round of steroids, my head didn't like that. So I had some pretty intense pain um, the last couple of days. So. Um, I'm now back on that, on those steroids, so I'm hoping that everything will be good there. And I'll just continue on, continuing on. I do have some projects that I'm going to be working on over the next couple of days. I have a couple of challenges that I need to work on and get done. I'm going to work on my first memory decks and my first ever tag. So... Those are two projects I'm working on. I am also gonna do a get to know me video as well. Um, it'll probably be a two part video just because, because I like to talk. So it'll probably be a two part video. Um, and I think that's it. So thanks for joining me. I'll catch you in the next one.